how's it? Aloha, gang, and welcome back to High Now Daily. More live food here at Resorts World, and we're joined by Executive Chef Justin Kalaluhi, Kauai Boy Executive Chef over here for the Zoo Group. How's it, Chef? Good. How are you, brother? We're, we're very excited <laughs> to see some poke on the table. So, yeah. Chef, tell everybody back at home uh, your culinary roots. Uh, how'd you get to Vegas? So, born and raised in Kauai, did some uh, stints in the Caribbean as well as traveled up and down Europe, and then ended up here in Las Vegas. I wanted to cook and gamble, so here I am. <laughs> That's what brings a lot of us over here here that's a, that's that's yeah. one of the things um what brought you out though the, the cooking the food was it a uh, job opportunity job to, opportunities to and from COVID and all of that so okay so uh you grew up prob uh Kauai boy so what'd you grow up cooking in the kitchen uh eating a lot of raw fish okay yes. so uh, as you see i have poke on the menu okay that makes sense so the restaurant we're sitting in though right now this is called fuhu fuhu is part of the Zuku. Zuku, group yes okay correct so what are the other restaurants that fall under that uh we have red tail our little sports bar and then uh opening up here in march we have the Day club. Okay, awesome. So now these are going to be two of the dishes that you feature over here at Fuhu. Okay. Walk us through, Chef. What we got? So we got Big Eye Tuna Poke with uh, a sesame oyster sauce, avocado, and tempura nori chips. Wow. And then on this side here, you got braised octopus with edamame puree, pickled cucumbers, and a teriyaki goju chang sauce. You wasn't lying about eating the raw fish there, not that. Yeah. with the raw fish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, All right, sir. so, Chef, I'm, I'm so curious. You know, in a, in a town like this, in a town like Vegas, uh, with Resorts World uh, being here, competition must be pretty crazy, though, right? Because there's so yes. many restaurants, so many different chefs doing different things. Yes, very, very steep. Uh, you got Ipono up in Durango Station, mm -hmm. brought us from Oahu as well, <laughs> and killing it out there. But, you know, we're all here trying to make a living so you know we're uh, earlier we we're talking with chef ryan uh, yeah. just about how hawaii people especially when it comes to food and the culinary scene everyone kind of seems to find each other yeah but how, how is the food scene out here uh, in vegas i think it's continuing to grow you can also go outside of the strip and find places outside of the strip as well okay definitely but if you're uh hawaii peeps and you're coming up to resorts world you gotta check uh, chef justin out over here what is the best way to dig into this bad boy over here uh best way grab a chip okay. scoop them up just one time yeah okay just one time one more time what is the name of this one the big eye tuna poke oh look at us eating poke <laughs> over here in Las Vegas, right outside. Okay, tell us about them. Oh, it is crunch. Mm, you hear that? Tempura nori, yeah? Oh, crunchy, yeah? Oh, I know. Delicious, a little bit salty too in the poke. Okay. Poke is fresh. What about um, what's going on uh, in back of us? You were saying when we got out here, Chef. Yeah. Plenty of stuff happening over here, yeah? At Resorts Row, constantly. Uh, so in March, we'll have the day club opening up and then, yeah. you know, constant involvement. Just a lot of construction every every day. All right. A lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. So uh, how does one uh, get to the level uh, of executive chef? How much how much time have you put into this this culinary scene here in Vegas to get to where you're at now? A lot of dedication. Over 10 years doing the grunt work and just working with a lot of chefs from all over the world. Working with a lot of chefs. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about uh, the do, do you keep up a lot with the people back at home, chefs back at home, or any of the Hawaii food scene? Constantly. Luckily, we have Instagram. Yeah. Everybody can see what everyone's doing. Social media has changed yeah. like the food game in a lot of ways. Yeah. Uh, when you keep up with them, uh, anything back at home you look at, like, what, what do you think of the overall kind of food scene taking place over in Hawaii and, and how it compares? I think it's blowing up in Hawaii, and we, the local people back home, are getting a lot of exposure. So yeah. it's good to see the Hawaii people get all this exposure. Definitely. Okay, so we still got our friends and family back at home in uh, Kauai? Yes, everybody still live back home in Hawaii and back home in Kauai, and I'm the only one out here. All right, well, Chef Justin, this is your time right now to tell everybody back, any, anyone, friends and family back at home, you want to say how's it to? Aloha, everybody. Miss you guys all back at home. Coming home soon. And make sure you come and check out Chef Justin when you come down here to Resorts World. Again, uh, I think the incredible thing about today, being here live in Vegas, is seeing all these Hawaii chefs, uh, Chef Devin, Chef Ryan, Chef Justin, all doing their thing as executive chefs here in Las Vegas uh, at this massive, massive property, which is amazing to see Hawaii represented in that way. Chef, how do people get reservations to come down here, check out Zoop Group, Fuhu, all the good stuff? How do we do it? Just go online, uh, zoopgroup.com, and then you'll see reservations for Fuhu. Uh -huh. You guys going to be busy this weekend. There's like a big uh, game. Is there something? big games in town. Down, so let's go Chiefs. Let's go Chiefs. That being said, this is the Braised, huh? <laughs> Braised. Braised. We're going in. Rachel, life is good out here. I promise you, we miss you. We miss all of our friends and family on the High Now team. Life's I'm good out here, though. Sure for now. We'll send it back do. to you guys. Aloha. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sure he misses us all very much.